Hey, life. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Heartbeats, episode two, season 47. Man. <laughs> it's true. Uh, it's a long running series. You should catch up with all the other seasons, but it's fine if you don't. Just take a few it's years. It's fine if you don't. All right. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm Chirag Aznani. Uh, I'm wearing a navy shirt. Uh, navy shirt with no collar. I've got a little bit of a beard. Uh, extraordinarily handsome. Everyone agree loudly. Yes, so definitely. Yes, 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 right. yes, yes. Hot. So yes. And uh, yeah, we're all introducing ourselves and describing ourselves in case people have difficulty seeing us. Uh, next up, we have the ever our wonderful man keeping us on track, Shubham. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Shubham. Um, I'm joining this cast last minute. I'm very excited to see how this pans out. Uh, how's defined my life in many ways. So I'm really glad to get a chance to channel this. Uh, I am wearing a blazer. You're welcome. Uh, glasses oh. and a very well uh, kept beard. You should be proud. Uh, oh, good. Oh, He's specifically speaking to one person in chat. Right now. That person's not even watching. I feel betrayed. <laughs> All right, uh, Tan. Yes. Hello. Uh, I have returned as Dr. Alexander Mason, who was also kind of inspired by House, but I've also learned apparently from other shows as well. And I am actually wearing a black poncho to deal with the cold, <laughs> which canonically is now what Dr. House wore. <laughs> oh, so many houses. All right. Uh, Indani. Hello, uh, my name is Indani. My pronouns are she, they. Uh, I, am, I was not in the first episode of Heartbeats, but I will be joining today and I'm channeling like McDreamy, a little bit of uh, Dr. Addison Montgomery, if you've seen Grey's Anatomy and know what I'm talking about. Uh, she's the ex-wife <laughs> who just like makes a return. <laughs> so you'll see why that's relevant soon enough. Um, I am wearing a, a tie-dye t-shirt. My hair is down in uh, like a plaid. Um, and I have this mic in front of me and plants behind me. Um, I'm P. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Agent P. My pronouns are she, they. I'm wearing a, a men's shirt that is very comfy that I have forever worn for the past three years now. And a cat beanie that I made. It's your strange store. No. Check it out. Strange, check it out. I, I, I want to clarify that you have not worn the shirt for three years straight. It's just a shirt that you tend to wear over the last No. Oh, yeah. Why would you assume that? I have worn the shirt for three years straight. Okay, now that actually Obviously. adds up a lot more. Because doctors never get a chance to change or wash or eat. Absolutely so. no. Yeah, fair enough. It's this or the scrubs. We understand. You don't need more than two outfits. That's true. true. We are the cartoon characters. Yeah. Wearing every outfit, the same outfit every day. Amazing. True. The costume department needs a break, all right? Uh, yes. So, yeah, we're excited to play uh, this game for you guys again. Uh, well, some of us for the very first time. It's going to be great. There's going to be a new drama. We'll be introducing our characters and a little bit about, you know, what happened in the last 30 seasons uh, in a little bit. But first, uh, I think we have some. Uh, do we have any announcements we want to say before we begin? Yes. Oh, I'm in my element again. Okay, uh, we have a couple of announcements. The first one is that uh, we have a game jam that we are doing on the Day Season Dragon server right now. It's being run by the wonderful Ari, our mod. Um, it's a do-it game jam, so uh, people are making one-player or two-player games, and we're gonna put it in a bundle and release it around Valentine's Day. So if you are um, an aspiring game designer or a game designer or just want to like write some shit. Uh, come join the Discord server. That's uh, where we are talking to each other, giving feedback, playtesting, all of that fun stuff. The second announcement is that The Legend of Vox Machina Season 2 returns at the end of January. And we will have our, uh, what is now, I suppose, a tradition uh, of uh, watch parties on our server. Uh, this particular one will be uh, a exciting i think for more reasons than one we'll have giveaways happening for each episode some giveaways might be super fun to participate in uh, wink wink nudge nudge so uh that's also on our discord server and it's only for people who come to the watch party so come to the server that's where it's happening daysseasondragons.com slash discord the link will be in chat uh what else do we have anything else um uh shubham wrote in a book 
I wrote it. And I did. But... Oh, yes! yes! We did! Let's talk about the fucking book! <laughs> oh, wow. my God! I blanked yeah. on that. Uh, oh, yeah. I will we'll do that. I'll do that. Come on. Okay, so Adventures of Jalmare uh, is now available on Pathfinder Infinite, uh, which is uh, where you can get all your third-party Pathfinder stuff. Uh, it, uh, Chirag wrote an adventure for it. There's a wedding that you need to help make happen. Uh, there's a lot of cool Indian references there. And then I wrote an adventure for it where you're essentially hunting Gubber uh, from uh, the Shole fame, but slightly turned different. He's a, he's a Vanera in this particular story. Um, well, that read the book. There's so many fun stuff. Uh, and uh, such good and uh, the book's really doing really well. Jalmare is a continent in uh, in the Pathfinder world, which is heavily inspired uh, by the Indian subcontinent, and it's been written, developed by incredible Desi writers. So uh, please check out the book, Adventures of Jalmare. It's on Pathfinder Infinite. I will try to drop uh, a link. Yes, I was just doing that, but we'll be in, in chat. Cool. Hey, um, nice. Right. Cool. I think that's everything. P, do you want to yeah. announce anything? Tan, do you guys have anything that you want to be like? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Agent P right here has a, a knitting store called Seal Strange, the link for which is in chat. So if you want to get yourself a fancy looking beanie like the one they're wearing right now, really that's cool where you gloves. need to go. Yes. A bunch yeah. of really cool stuff. Check that like. link. Yes. Nice. So uh, go support a local amazing artist. So amazing. Ooh, with that. I, I would like one of the cat beanies. That's a given, so I'm gonna make a commission for that as soon as you. You want a free. cat beanie for yourself or a no? My cat, cat won't. My cat won't let me put it. I've tried things. Trust me. <laughs> she looks like she's thinking of many ways to murder me over the next. <laughs> yeah. So no, for myself, I look amazing in beanies. So nice. It's just uh, facts. It's true. I assume I've never actually seen you in a beanie, <laughs> and I want to. I want to make this happen. All right. So, let's go into Heartbeats. Da da da. We come in. Yeah, we see. Last time on Heart on Heartbeats, there was incredible amount. There was an incredible amount of drama, as always on Heartbeats. We had Alex. We had Alexander Mason this reuniting with Doctor Natasha Warner, who you find has been played replaced by a different actor entirely, as is want to happen. The other one was asking for too much money. Uh, we got this. <laughs> Yeah, and we'll uh, never acknowledge it on the show. The <laughs> other actor had a beard. <laughs> yeah, the other, the other one wasn't uh, pregnant enough. That's what happened. Uh, uh, we had, and so discovered that in their relationship, they they determined he was pregnant, but they don't know who the father is. Is is it uh, their ex, Alexander Mason, who they shortly broke up with, or was it uh, Mandeep Mani Prasad, physiotherapist? Uh, who they had a one-night thing while they had masks on. Who knows? Uh, we also, at that time, discovered that there was... Uh, Manny had a long-standing uh, crush on Tiffany Tiff Alexan Alexander, our, very, uh, our OBGYN, who kind of got thrown into the middle of all this while that was, go <laughs> while that was going and just wanted to leave. Uh, we've also had new, exciting characters come in uh, as we have arriving out of nowhere, replacing our last plastic surgeon who went to jail literally out of character uh they're fine not in jail as far as we know in character yeah went straight to jail so we have a brand new arrival uh a mysterious person with a just as mysterious and mercurial accent we have uh arriving doc well he'll introduce himself because the name is fantastic he just can't <laughs> wait as he's arrived last uh arrived last episode with an exciting announcement uh does the audience know this announcement yes or is it going to be revealed when the episode starts. Uh, the episode, when the episode starts. The last time on. You just, the only yes. thing you saw in the last time on is, I don't want this case. <laughs> Doesn't. Yes. So, uh, since then, relationships have changed. Things have happened. A whole season went down. <clears throat> uh, there was a hurricane. Things happened, but it's fine. We're coming into this episode. We're going in hard. Uh, ooh. Before we do and that, we uh, quick, sorry content warnings because we're playing uh, a ttrpg that is set in it's a medical drama so expect like hospital related stuff so um yeah if, if anything of that sort it will bring you discomfort yes. this is not the stream yes. for you there is a yeah there's chance of a uh, of a uh, people dying that's an option uh we have like uh, discussed medical stuff as you mentioned Specifically, one of us is playing an OBGYN, another one's playing a 
cardiologists so like those kind of things could happen yeah. uh neuroscientists so brain stuff might happen uh, yeah we oh, won't obviously go surgery. into gory detail but plastic just surgeons that. so plastic stuff might happen <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, and, it, and of course, incredibly works. accurate medical terminology is will be found on this stream. I love yeah. that Agent Peace is giving us a very good close up of their neck right now. <laughs> yeah. love it. For all the vampires in the audience, yeah, at least two. You know at you least are. two. <laughs> you, know you know who, who you are. Played a fucking vampire the masquerade game, and we all know who those people are. <laughs> all right. Mm-hmm. So. All right, uh, let us begin with, uh, who wants to go first? I mean... Perhaps one of the veterans yeah. of the... Tan, you want to go first? No. Or... All right, Tan, come to you. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, not for just another day, Dr. Mason is in his office, uh, kind of like fiddling around with his electric guitar, just, you know, vibing with himself as he hasn't had a case in a little bit and he has a few privileges that he's given being a long-standing doctor at this hospital at this point and around that time he's pondering his current situation with a certain doctor at the hospital but at the same time he has a little well he has a file of a patient in front of him that just came in uh to which I will ask uh, Agent P, uh, what is the right. patient like? What is this patient like? This name and what am I dealing with? Uh, her name is Ria Jane. Her name is Ria Jane. <laughs> All right. And she's just had like a long history of like headaches. All right. And she's just like she's come in for like a checkup because she's been referred to the neuro department mm-hmm. because a lot of headaches is not a good thing. Relatable. <laughs> well, he, he he would like look at the file and call the patient in, uh, and just you know, like how how old is she? She's like twenty five. Yeah, yeah. He kind of like look over and just be like. Huh. They've been having headaches. Yeah, it's weird. Like, they just come and go, and it really affects my work. And I have, I, you have to understand, I'm a really important person in my, in the corporate world. I need to be on top of my game, especially as a woman. So I would really like something to take care of these headaches. Like any medication, like I, any tests, run them, figure out what's wrong. I'll pay for everything. Uh, we'll figure out what your issue is. We'll figure out whatever we need to get done. But you need to do as I say. M- money is not the issue here. Huh? The issue is me dealing with the problem. And I have a few very good ways to deal with this. Once we have your scans, we can figure out what research to use. There's some very promising research I have seen lately that has proven to be effective. Uh, that implies the use of regenerative monkey cells. To... I'm gonna cut you off there. I'm not uh-huh. interested in research. Just give me what works and what has worked. And that's exactly what I was doing. What works is these monkey cells. I don't think so. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, monkey cells aren't mainstream. So just <laughs> give me some painkillers, put my head in a machine, and I'll be on my way. I think it's best that we can both agree on the doctor is over here. I'm sure you've <laughs> looked up what your illness is online. Account what your patient would like to have done to them. Sure, I can put your head in the machine. I can give you a few painkillers. And then you come back to my office again in a couple of days saying you have a worse headache. Because all the machine's going to do is going to tell you that you, oh, guess what? You have a headache. Oh, and monkey cells are going to just make it better. They can, if you'd at least let me try it. Have you tried it on yourself? I don't know the patients. They don't have complain. Have you it on yourself? I don't have a headache. I'd still rather not go for monkey cells. You know what? Fine. We, we'll look for other 
cells or other methods we can use. Let's at least get you admitted in. Get a few scans. Let's see what we're dealing with. Okay. Shall we roll? Shall we draw a card to see how this goes? Yes. Uh, for those who are just haven't played before, uh, you whenever you enter this scene, you draw a card to determine the progress. Red means things go the way you want. A black card means uh, there's a negative outcome, and a face card means there's a dramatic new development or a sudden emergency. I so, drew an ace of hearts. A red ace, right? Yes. Okay, good. That means uh, ace doesn't count as a face card, so that just means things go the way you want them to. All right. We're going to get you at better. We're going to figure out what the problem is, and we'll see what cells to use. <laughs> so what cover goes well for you? Well for you. Yeah, uh, if it goes well, uh, the scans would show a certain, like, you know, like illness of some kind. Yes, a very medical term, an illness. Uh, it, it would show, uh, you know, what shows, like, if, the pro uh, if it continues, it's going to lead to degeneration of brain cells and, like, some loss of, you know, functionality. And... Like, you know, he'll, like, look over the report. And what kind of functionality? Motor functionality. Oh, okay. Starting where? Starting at the <laughs> fingertips. <laughs> okay. This is canon now. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, he'll kind of, like, walk over and he'll be like, So, about those monkeys. Just tell me what's wrong with me, and I'll either get a second opinion or go somewhere else. Oh, I mean, I get killed. That is the best way to do it, I suppose. It seems you have degenerative motor disease. And we can deal with it. As you said, you don't have a problem with costly treatment. It will take time, though. And we'll have to see how you respond to the treatment at the first stages to see if it works or we switch to other treatment. I have one caveat. Uh-huh. No monkey cells. Ooh. And with you that, what? I think that's a good thing. No monkey cells. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, you got a... So we are noting down, you have a uh, red one in regard, because one point. You have one point for red, and we'll be adding these together. Uh, when you reach 10 in terms of point, that storyline comes to an end, for good or for bad. Each doctor has two storylines. They can either deal things with their patients or with their, uh, with their kind of relationship stuff yeah. they got going with another doctor. So now that we have that, an excellent start. Uh, no monkey brains. No monkey cells. Uh, let's go down to. Uh, are you ready? Um, yeah, uh, introduce us in and tell us if you're doing a scene which you're, regarding your patient situation or regarding your relationship. Uh, okay. I am currently with my patient, uh, who is uh, played by Indrani. I uh, no. you just see someone who is sitting back. Mm. Your looking... patient's played by me. Oh, it's Dr. Mason. It's not Dr. Yes. Mason, it's someone else, but yeah. yeah. Mason, right. Mason, you are playing the uh you're playing the patient. There we go. You had an idea. Hmm. So what are your symptoms again? I came here for plastic surgery. <laughs> I don't have symptoms per se. I Oh, so the scarring on your face is just an unfortunate side effect? That's a birthmark. <laughs> oh. Birthmarks are not supposed to usually be that ugly. Um, okay, so is that what you're trying to get solved here? Uh, that's part of what I'm trying to get solved. <laughs> okay, and what else? I am trying to do is, well, I, I need to obviously get my face changed, but I hear you're one of the best, and I don't want my fingerprints to exist. Hmm. 
All right. Um, it says here in my notes that you have a mysterious illness. Is that got anything to do with why you're bothering me? I have a mysterious illness <laughs> out of character. Oh, I see what's going on here. I'm new at this game. Excuse me. <laughs> Carrying on. Uh, it's like, oh, so you just want your fingerprints removed, huh? Easy enough. Yes. I uh, pull open the drawer. I want different fingerprints. Oh, I put the knife scalpel that I'd pulled out of the drawer back in its place. <laughs> different fingerprints. Hmm. You know, I know a doctor who might be able to help us with that. Uh-huh. How do you feel about monkey cell, uh, cell? <laughs> <laughs> How is it every time my patient character ends up at my doctor, so I have to talk to myself? <laughs> so fucking funny. Uh, how do you feel about monkey fingerprints? They have human seeming fingerprints. You know what? As long as they can't trace it back to me, I'm okay with it. Who's there, by the way? What? That's not important. Hmm. Book card? Uh, I'll draw a card, sure. I, uh,. There you go. An uh, ace of diamonds. Uh, what color is it? Uh, red. Uh, red. Diamond is red. Oh, yeah. I forgot. My memory is failing me. Okay. So, so far, uh, things are going okay for Dr. Say your name again for chat. Oh, uh, it's Dr. Gar Haveli. Uh, uh -huh. That's Dr. Gar Haveli. Uh, Gar I as in house and Haveli as in house. Yeah, 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 we got it. We got it. You didn't have to say it. <laughs> The best way to, uh, uh, the punchline of a joke is obviously the part where you explain it. So. Well, there are people in this audience who don't speak Hindi, okay? Listen, they were saved. They were protected. We hadn't oh lost them yet. God. See, there's someone in the audience who said they didn't catch it. It's Dr. Gar Haveli. Did you catch it this uh -huh. time? Thank you. Okay, good. So, uh, things are going well. Uh, how, how does it go well, this little, just like him agreeing with it, or is there something extra happened? Uh, yes. Do you agree with it? By the way, what is your name? Not that I care. Uh, the file would just have the name. Uh, you know what? We'll call it uh, John Flash. Why I feel it... like there's, you're setting something up here. I just know it. Why is it? Why is it that it just says John and then there's like a splash mark? Did you? Is that intent? Is is your name just a splash mark? All right. Yes. Is it because you you don't want your family? Did your family um, uh, disown you after that birthmark? Is that why it's a flat? Uh... You know, I I don't appreciate your tone, doctor. But I don't. You're welcome to leave. leave. Please leave. You know I can. I I have a whole show to catch up on. Well then. <laughs> I, I, I suppose I'll go look at what these monkey cells have going, I guess. Yes, uh, the person you, uh, you would want to bother is Dr. Mason. <laughs> so make sure to do that. Do that's Dr. Mason is who you want to uh, bother, uh, John, with the uh, birthmark. Oh. I didn't need got that medical attention by the end of this. <laughs> How did that go well, exactly? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't leave. The patient didn't leave. He's along with... He stuck around for the bullying. That's how yeah, it exactly. went. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh, next up. Indrani, why don't you introduce us to this familiar character? Yes. You see a tall, slender, beautiful, descended from the heavens woman who is heavily pregnant. Like... Just like waddling as 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 she walks, um, has this very well ironed um, like uh, you know was wearing scrubs but has that like white coat on top with her like name embroidered into it. The name says Doctor Natasha. Uh, uh, what? Uh, what? Doctor Natasha Warner. Warner. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, Doctor Natasha Warner um, with this one 
uh, iPad looking like this tablet device in one hand is as she's walking, looking at um, uh, her patient's uh, reports. But her eyes glance up because she's walking past uh, 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 Mason's uh, office or, or rather, uh, yeah, office. Yeah. Um, and she glances, pauses for a moment, uh, wonders if she should go in and uh, is going because she can hear the guitar, the electric guitar playing inside. Uh, so she will knock, not wait for anybody to respond, open the door, peek her head in and say, nice, glad you're practicing. And and shut the door again, <laughs> and um, and keep walking. Just a sharp note stopping happens, like just like note gets <laughs> mute, like. <laughs> yeah, um, and and you know, after just like doesn't wait for a response, very good, like keeps it moving, like closes the door, um, and like goes out because she's so. Uh, bumbling, she like almost closes the door on her own finger and then like, is like, okay, okay, uh, I'm gonna go now. And is going to try find, um, I suppose, uh, the emergency room where there is a patient with some sort of disease that uh, we haven't yet figured out. So I'm gonna go try to find whoever Shubham is playing. So who who is this patient? Um, oh, man. <laughs> Could I try this? Um, uh, it's Adler. The patient's name is Adler. Oh, fucking hell. Sure. Um, and um, I just see uh, it's actually uh, the patient is a woman, uh, also e- gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Um, and uh, she's like, Yes, I have a mist, I have an illness. Okay. Yes, I just uh, know that I'm sick. I don't know quite know how, and I thought you could help me with it. Right. Could you? Uh, I she like sort of interacts with the nurses for a moment and like it, uh, looks at like you know mum whispers to them a few things, looking at the vitals going over them. Can't like everything seems fine there. So there's this look of confusion mm-hmm. on on Doctor Warner's face. Mm-hmm. Uh, she then turns back. Um, What's the name on the sheet that I've written? Adler? Just Adler? Yeah, just Adler. Um, uh, Miss Adler? Yes. Uh, well, we've, Open we've to run... Misses, if that's what you propose. Oh! Uh, well... <sighs> she looks down her stomach and then glances back at the corridor where Mason's office is. And I'm like, <laughs> we'll put a pin in that. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's quite uh, appropriate. Well, um... Right. We ran a few, you know, uh, just standard tests uh, when you came in. And it it seems like, you know, we did a whole CT scan and everything looks fine. Um, I've been referred to you because um, uh, the, the GPs suspect that it might have something to do with your heart. You see, I'm a cardiologist and um, that's sort of what I'll be exploring they, with they, you? They, they do seem to have hit upon the right uh, part of my body. There's some, definitely something wrong with my heart and I kind of hold my chest way too like, like holding the chest up just a little bit. <laughs> like, um, right. Well, uh, how about this? Uh, and and uh, this like, sh- she moves, she takes a lot of space when she moves because like there's this uh, extra dimension to her right now, right? So she turns around and like hands off like the tablet to someone and like takes out her like stethoscope Um. And, and like, you know, it's going to be like, if you don't mind, could you just please like lay down? Um, you can just put your feet up and your head on the pillow there, if that's okay. Of course. And then I do that very slowly while making eye contact. Uh, you see uh, Dr. Warner just blushes very deeply and goes, oh, uh, okay, thank you. Yeah. And is the pillow comfortable? It's just like very like looks hesitant but when she places the stethoscope on your chest is like very confident in her movements it's like listening for mm. any irregularities or anything that might like you know like i've seen some doctors do this i don't really know what that means did you do that i think bring the wings up <laughs> sure, sure. You, uh, this has a cardiac me. purpose okay like i'm doing this on your chest <laughs> to, to make oh. sure all the blood is oh, no. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and I'm like and I'm gonna listen and I I'm 
looking closely for any sort of irregularity. You mean listening closely? Yes, listening closely, uh, perceiving, right? Because I'm even doing this shit. So mm, um, <laughs> that's the real medical stuff. Yeah. Yeah, truly. Um, so, okay. uh, uh, Chirag, would I just say if I notice something, or do I draw a card and we see how it goes? This yeah, whole like inspection uh, process. You can basically say when you don't know if the scene should go well or if it should go poorly. That's when you draw a card. If you're okay. like, okay, the scene is going as I wanted to, and then you're like, okay, now I want to insert doubt. Like that moment was like, okay, here's the cure. It's we gotta put dog poop inside his bloodstream. That will fix it. Right. And then for some reason, it doesn't work in house. For and I said, some what? reason, dog poop wasn't the answer. Right. Yeah, I'll draw a card. Um, because again, <laughs> we're pretty, we're pretty stumped. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll, I'll also, I'll turn to the nurse and be like, uh, why don't we get um an ECG done? Uh, I know these terms because I have just because you're a medical a student of, yeah. yeah obviously yeah. i am a cardiologist that's why um uh, yeah, like why. Uh, yeah uh, just you know so they start like hooking you up and like while that's going i'm doing my own test so and i'm gonna draw a card to see if if we find something because i know procedure wise we're doing the right things we're looking in the right manner it's whether or not we find anything that's the problem okay i'm drawing a card i got a diamond A. Ace of diamonds. Ace of diamonds is one. What? Wait, hold on. This is a... We've drawn like four of these. <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe. Oh, hold I on, think I know what I did. You can't draw more than one. It's a deck of cards. Exactly. Oh, I yeah. know what's okay. happening. You guys are placing it right over where the deck is. So uh, I just drew the top okay. card. Okay. Here. All right. Draw again. Draw. draw. Oh, the deck is out of cards. Come on. Wow. Oh. Wow. Right, it's 52 then. cards in this. All right, I'm going to just draw the card. Draw, Let's just do this. One. I'm so happy my mom isn't going to watch you get? the stream. <laughs> I told my dad to watch the stream because he's a fan of House as well. My, my oh. mom's a doctor. I'm oh. so glad she isn't watching. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? I am going to... Hearts. Yeah, seven of hearts, I guess. All right, seven. Fantastic. Seven red. Uh, that means it goes the way you want it to, and you have seven red points. I'll note that down on the sheet. Uh, red seven. Oh, uh, it goes the way I want it to? Uh, interesting. Yes, that means... Yeah, go. Uh, we find... Oh, this is, cl this is great. Classic. Um, uh, as we're doing the ECG, and I'm doing my you know, routine checkups. Uh, my uh, tablet makes a little ding and I take it and I open, like, see that the, another test result has come in and this is specifically an MRI of her fucking chest. Uh, I do know, actually, because I'm a cardiologist. Um, and I <laughs> look at the report and, oh, I and I have an impassive face, but I look at uh, Miss Adler and I say, well, um, are you alone here do you have any family or people who are here to care for you uh, if you were I'm to have an extended alone, stay but i am lonely right i okay uh, well <laughs> unfortunately miss adler it seems like there's a hole in your heart <laughs> um it's uh, the size of uh, uh the new 5 rupee coin um, i see wait from India, I don't know if you've ever been to India because we're in know. America. <laughs> well, it's about um, and I fished through my collection of coins yeah. because they're a great reference to tell people what the size of the hole in their heart is. So, oh, are they I, alive? <laughs> like I should just be pouring blood out at the yeah. be dead. <laughs> because hole so in the heart I, is a real thing, but it's like those are adler's tail, not because they don't go out in the sun, but just they don't have any blood left in their body to pump. <laughs> I suppose. So I hold up a fire rupee coin. Uh, from India uh, and I say this is how big your uh, hole is and actually that's quite concerning I don't think it's a st it's, it's a wonder that you're uh, here alive um, uh, please we will take care of you there are procedures in place and surgeries we can do to to to, to take care of this again what was that <laughs> <laughs> 
They have regenerative properties. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you know about this, but there is uh, 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 one of the, the resident doctors uh, here at uh, Grace Lone uh, General Hospital. <laughs> Thank you for giving us a name. We haven't yeah. had one. Today. Yeah, there you go. Um, is uh, uh, is working on this very interesting uh, uh clinical trial uh, about monkey cells and uh, we could just regenerate the cells that make up the portion of your heart to fill up that hole <laughs> <laughs> that sounds perfect uh, yes I mean, it's not what i was hoping you would fill my ha- ha- heart with or my whole heart oh. with but i'm okay with trying this first right uh <clears throat> i'm sorry that's yes very very sweet uh why don't I, uh, I, you know what, I will go talk to Dr. Mason about this clinical trial, see if they can take another person on. If not, we'll just try the traditional routes. Um, but truly, uh, I turn to the nurses and like, keep an eye out on, on Miss Adler, have someone with her 24-7. I really have no idea how she's alive, but here we are. Uh, okay. Uh, and like, again, like, turns around, like, like full, like... <laughs> you are five rupees. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to coin in my pouch of coins good jingles a bit because I have again cents and, and, and rupees and, and I don't know coins from other parts of the world mm-hmm. uh, that you just carry yeah. around to demonstrate <laughs> holes obviously um, yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I feel bad for the last guy who had one I'm side the thing was for pound that guy had then, nothing uh, yeah yeah a whole dollar uh, the 10 yeah. rupee coin I have this everything is this- this is the side of your blockage. Yeah. Um, your artery swollen up. <laughs> oh no! Wait, sorry. It's the old Pesa coin. Let me just. Adjust. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Amazing. There we go. Ah, that was fantastic. We should have uh, a super yeah, so... cut of me saying "whole" multiple times. I yes. can look in the camera when I say it. No, it's fine. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Great. So that went well. You know what the problem is. Yes. Next step, uh, we have. Many. I've oh got so much to do. I don't even have any advice. <laughs> just going to be honest. Uh, I feel like I've done something wrong somewhere in the arrangement of things, but okay. Uh, I'm going to go. Uh, yeah. Uh, he, Manny, if you remember from last time, uh, is works as the physiotherapist. So he's often, he was, he's often in charge of like yoga for like the for the other doctors as well as for some of his patients running physio often doing jogs around the place uh, as he can right now he's looking fairly somber as uh, he sees uh what dr Annette, uh dr natasha warner walk out of the emergency room like he was going there and then he just like freezes up nervous uh and then avoids contact with her like goes blunt and you can see like the fear and concern in his face uh as he what's going as he sees her a genuine concern as he's going around trying to find uh, one of the doctor's office as he goes to talk to uh, goes to Tiffany's office uh, and just tries to knock on her uh, knock on her door. Uh, hey, if oh you... okay, yeah, I'm I'm here. Yeah, come in. I'm not particularly busy. So, thanks. Uh, he like comes in. Uh, oh, and he's just like a. Uh, Comes as, uh, he didn't come on a hand, he brings uh, just like a small bag, uh, some uh, Chinese d- uh, dumplings, so sort of like as a peace offering. He's bought that, uh, just like that. It's like, hey, how you been? Um, they're like looking a little nervously, uh, at Tiffany. Um, how's, how's your office? How's your day been so far? Oh, my, my day's been good. Um, I haven't had a chance to eat, so this is this is really nice. Um, how how are you holding up? And I heard that Natasha's back in the hospital. Yeah, yeah, she had like that little bit of way. It's been good. The yoga I was doing, mommy and me yoga with her, and uh, with Doctor Mason as well. I I kind of he he Hi. insisted on coming, and I'm glad that Doctor Mason was there. Uh, <laughs> Really? You were glad that he was there? I thought yeah, it would have been. Of course, it's, it's a little awkward, you know. Yeah. I'd be, yeah. Uh, because of the whole, but it's it's fine, you know. Old man could use some yoga. It's um, but it's about something else. A a patient. 
I was in charge of one of Dr. Warner's patients, uh, remember? Uh, the older okay. gentleman. And I was yeah. in charge of his like swimming routine because we thought he was fit to do it based on the car, based some mm -hmm. of the thoughts. And then Dr. Warner, she didn't want me to do it. She didn't want me to look after him and make sure things were like, she didn't want him to push too hard. But the okay. man was very insistent he could do it. And I felt he could do it. He was very, like, he was very fit for, uh, he wasn't even, he wasn't even 60 years old. So I thought he could just do some laps. Right. And then he wasn't, then he stopped moving in the water and he started drowning. I got him out as fast as I could. I didn't realize what was going by. I grabbed him as fast as I could, but it wasn't good. His heart couldn't take it. And I, oh, man. We just, I can't face Dr. Warner after what happened to him. I, I feel like I've let her down. Well, I mean, we all uh, kind of go through this. Have you, have you talked to your attending about it? I, I've, I've tried, but you know, he said he had he was in that hit and run. And he's on now. He's escaped to Mexico, and they haven't got me a new one. There's hospital. Right, I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> happened last time. <laughs> Look to the camera. And then, remember last time that one off character <laughs> flashback played by Stanley Tucci. Um, well, you know, we all we all lose patients every now and then. I mean, it's happened to me. It's happened to every other doctor that you've known in the hospital. Maybe, you know, I guess it's better to process your emotions. If it gets too overwhelming, you know, we have. Psych on floor three. I don't go to psych. No, it's, it's too much time. I don't need to go to psych. Come how, on. How 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 are like how is like other than like facing Doctor Warner? Is this like affecting anything else in your life? Uh, no. Um, I don't. I don't think so. He's saying, but like his hands are like tapping nervously on like the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna notice place. that and like just like place my hand uh to like places her hand on it and just like it's listen, it's gonna be nerve wracking afterwards and you're gonna be afraid of losing more patients. But that shouldn't affect your decision making skills because you're a good doctor. You're an intern at Sloan Gray Hospital. It takes a lot to be to be working here. And Yeah. <laughs> and to make it so many seasons. You know, seasonal seasons. Not saying anything. This episode okay. sponsored by Shondaland. Not really. <laughs> oh, we wish. All right. So it's it's uh, gonna be okay, and you have to just you you have to make sure, like, because of this event, you shouldn't be afraid to take risks in the future. I'm gonna well, no, that's very good advice. I'm gonna draw a card to see if he takes it well or he just goes poorly. Come on, deck. Okay, uh, two black. <laughs> so it uh, he takes it and he's like holding your and like he, like takes your hand. He smiles. He's like, yeah, it'll be fine. I'm gonna be okay. Uh, but yeah, like, even if he like stands up, like oh, enjoy. I'm just going to. Uh, uh, he doesn't like stick around to like like eat the dumpling, which he's like passing on. He's like, you enjoy. Uh, I'm sure, you got a busy day. You know, you're fighting for that grant. It'll be fine. Uh, you know. Uh, he's doing monkey brains. You, you could do much better than monkey brains, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, you could. Uh, believe, uh, I believe anyway, you got this. Uh, and he like uh, 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 kisses her hand and then he's, uh, and he's out, leaves, but he feels a kind of you see the audience, like she looks at him, he knows he's not okay. Yeah. He's, he's putting on a front uh, and the audience why did he kiss her hand? What's going on? The audience doesn't know what's happening. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, black two under relationship uh, dichotomy between him, Natasha, and technically you as well, Tiffany. But uh, yeah. Now Tiffany's turn. Uh, okay. I'm going to say like right after that, like I get like um, a call down uh, to the wards. Uh mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, and it's like Which floor? Oh, on the ground floor. It's the oh, outpatient department. Wrapping it out. Um, I get there because like it's a little overwhelmed on a, a Wednesday. 
Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday. And, and you know, I just kind of, like, helped my other, my other staff and, like, had to, like, take in as many patients. And, like, I'm like, okay, come in. Normal checkup. Okay, you're good. Go on. And I'm just taking people in. And, like, I look up and I'm like, okay, next person, come on in. And it's, like, I see myself walk in pregnant. And I kind of just like I, 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 I'm shocked I'm just like what who uh, hi hi uh, and it, it does very much look like I'm playing a cat yeah looks very much like you uh, just differently uh, you know non scrubs but like a fancy uh, pink uh, pink shirt uh, no obvious sign of a uh, of pregnancy in like uh, tennis shoes or she's like a tennis shoe. Look, she just came from like working out, but she's like stunned when she like sees you. Like, um, this feels this feels. Ooh. Why why don't you just sit down? Um, I'm sure uh, clicking. I... Tech issues. You know how it goes, folks. Why, why don't you sit down first? You seem distraught. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay. What, what, what's, your, what's your name? Uh, Andy, uh, Andy Co. Okay. This... Uh, and yours? Uh, I'm, I'm Tiffany Alexander. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, um... You know, well, what seems to be the problem? <laughs> no. Well, I was coming in here for a checkup on my. Well, not my. I uh, I moved here recently. My old OB, you want told me to come here and then like recommend this hospital nearby, and I wanted to get a new one. But this is too creepy. You have. I don't know how to say this. You you have my face. I, yeah. I and you have mine. I mean, your face is not nearly as bloated yeah. as mine's getting because of she like pats herself uh, carefully. That oh god, why? Are you, where 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 are you from? Are you from around here? Uh, I'm uh, I'm 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 from oh I'm from Ohio, which is not the state this hospital is. So we have like fifty one other ones it could be. <laughs> so many other states it could be. <laughs> Um, oh, did are your okay and your and your parents? Oh, um, well, my parents. they uh, well, they also used to live in Ohio before I moved, but uh, uh, I'm, is I'm starting to. I mean, they want my real. I'm sorry. This is very very odd. Um, are, uh, are they on? Where are you from? I'm from here. I've born, I was born and I have lived in the city. Seattle, where the Grace Sloan Memorial Hospital is, obviously. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. So much lore details we're getting, so much setting lore. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, did, are you perhaps adopted? <clears throat> yeah. I, I didn't think I might. Were you adopted? I don't think so. I didn't think I was adopted either. Um, because this is too similar. Too similar. Ah, uh, like you just and she's like, but she's like looking at you, like she's sitting down, but like, and she's just like studying you, like this. You grew up here. I grew up in an, in Seattle. You grew up in Seattle. I grew up in Ohio. And it's just, oh, I should. Oh. Why don't we? Why don't we move on from the elephant <laughs> in the room? I don't think we can. But oh. I'm I'm pretty sure what you what what you have coming for is probably way more pertinent than this. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. This will be fine. Well, draw a card to see if this will be yeah. fine. Yes. 
<laughs> can you draw a card for me? My phone died. I can. I and can my try. My iPad will die very soon. Wow. But that's okay. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I have a charger. <laughs> Thank you. No. Uh, it is a four black. So oh. something goes something goes wrong. What goes wrong? Ooh. What technically what did what did she come in for? That's just gonna get aggravated and it's gonna go to like emergency. Yeah. She, she says that she came in because you know she moved here. So her doctor uh, would have like transferred to a new one. So if there is any new problems, you will have maybe you discover it. You may it's something you could introduce into the scene she's not aware of, or just something horrible happens, like passes out or you could faint, yeah. I was gonna say she, she faints. She just can't handle it, so she faints. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful! No, no. <laughs> and I am like Tiffany's, like shocked, even more shocked and paranoid, and just like kind of calls for help. Uh, they shift um Andy uh onto like a gurney and like take her to like the ER to be see like to see what can be done. Probably um Andy's like put on some fluids just to get her head straight. And now it's just like a matter of like waiting to see when Andy wakes up and is okay enough to talk. Love these medical things that HP just dropped for us. Gurney. <laughs> Oof. The bed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we know. Oh, yeah. Talk medical to us. This I is where we go to from Breaking Bad. <laughs> there are two guys. All uh, right. <laughs> No, no, there's a third that enjoys both. <laughs> okay. Uh, we return. We go to Alexander Mason. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So I have a lot of threats to pull on at the moment. So you can choose to like follow a relationship thing or uh, go on with a your patient issue. You mean patients? <laughs> no. <laughs> Technically, yes. Uh... So many monkey parts. Besides, <laughs> a little monkeys. So, firstly, uh, Tiffany would receive just a congratulations card in her office because Alexander heard from like the lobby and stuff that oh, Tiffany was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <clears throat> and he he's like hmm, like thinks to himself. He is too busy, friend. And immediately uh, goes first to deal with his first patient. Then he'll get introduced to a second one, I guess. Uh, he goes over to the patient's room, uh, uh, Rhea, I believe, and go goes in and just like with his file and stuff. All right, we have not. As per your request, been using monkey cells. Right. Cool. However, we have been using an alternative method of treatment that seems to have been showing decent results. The way at least your headache should be gone at right now. What I mean, okay. What exactly is it? So it's really promising technology, really. Uh, so the tears of a crocodile. <laughs> that one Michael Scott gif of him saying no. <laughs> but he's, he's thinking alchemy and witchcraft to solve this. <laughs> this is actually urban fantasy. There yeah. you go. Oh, he's playing like a too. different game than the rest of us. He's playing <laughs> Dresden Files. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me the date or techniques, and I <laughs> went with it. <laughs> so, oh my God. You want? Let me know when you want to draw a card to see how well crocodile is I would is like going. to draw a card right now. <laughs> see how well. That goes, or she takes it. Oh, boy. Uh, poor Red. So, Let's go! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> doesn't necessarily mean... So, 
So it might mean she takes it well. It might mean it's working. So you tell me. I, it's working. <laughs> wow. So wait, what? Can you explain? I want like I want I want like I want an yes. elaboration on this. How yes. do I, I actually have it. I have. Oh God. This. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so you know how you have the IV drift, right? Uh huh. That's crocodile tears. Okay. Okay. And when that enters into your bloodstream, quite literally, and we put you under, we <laughs> we put you under, and we observe brain neural activity and how it is responding to this new element in your system. And in this case, the crocodile tears are treated with a special uh, antibiotic he made himself. He developed this in conjunction with the crocodile tears. And together, they have halted the degeneration process of the brain cells. That's where we've reached so far. It's halted the process. We still don't know what caused it in the first place. So we still have to figure that part out. But it, it, is, a, it is a stop gap at the moment. They'll need to like make sure it doesn't happen again. Right, of course. <laughs> I love the message in chat. Just roll D twenty for deception. <laughs> uh, he's, he's actually just hiding the fact he's a wizard. His whole series out. He's hiding the fact he's a wizard. He's been doing a cult uh, shit at the hospital. <laughs> uh, and. Yeah, so I tell you, like, you know, we've stopped the process uh, of the degeneration. It's working really well. And from here, we're waiting on the results of your test to come back so we can figure what brought you to this state in the first place. Have you been eating any weird foods lately? Have you traveled to any exotic locations for your work? We had a work trip to Spain, but I don't think anything from there would you know. Ah, I feared that would make that might be the case. <clears throat> what's what's in Spain, Doc? The robust Spanish rhino disease. I thought it was the Spanish Inquisition that got in, but I was no going to say Spanish it. flu. No one it's expects so Spanish Inquisition. No one expects it. Yeah. No one expects. Especially if the Inquisition brings a rhino. Oh God! So. I feel like this is a fluid. It's a Trojan rhino? Yes. <laughs> Let me know when you want the scene to end. If you uh, want to break us all first. I think I have. And uh, I also have to deal with my other patient is the problem that Shubha was bringing to me. <laughs> so your other patient um, it turns up, I'm sure, and you can deal with it. Uh -huh. Dr. Mason, uh -huh. your patient's arrived. Okay. Uh, right. Are we doing Shivam scene or are we continuing with uh, Tan scene? Uh, it's an interjecting scene, so yeah. how do we want to do that? His so, scene is his patient, and his patient's coming to me. So, yeah. so I'm going to turn up. Yeah. So, like, is the important thing here for uh, your character, Shivam? Uh, this is a relationship scene that he has with this doctor, or is it about the patient? Can it be both at the same time, and we draw two cards? Why not? Sure. <laughs> I've, I, I've just broken. <laughs> I'm just like, this game has broken me. So we just go, we just keep going. Cool. Uh, so first of all, Dr. Mason, your patient arrives. Please address your patient with the birthmark. Ah, yes. He, the patient guy looks over. Ah, uh, ah, uh, hello. Uh, I don't want fingerprints. Thank you. Uh, I, I want different fingerprints. Uh, I don't know how that works. I, 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 I just need to make sure that I don't look like this and this different. And yes, thank you. And Mason looks at the patient, just confused. Looks over at you. Um, yeah, and you see me standing there, it's like stumped, Doctor Mason. I mean, usually this is your department, isn't it? Mm. Bring the face up. Well, I don't really know what neurology. I'm not sure how you did in anatomy, anatomy, but the fingers are not the face. Yes, neither is the brain. Yes, but I heard about a, a special medicine that you were practicing 
Uh, I thought you I might practice be... many special medicines, and none of them effective. Uh, so uh huh. Is that why I got the last grant and probably this next one, given proclivities of Doctor Tiffany? I don't know if you heard she's pregnant. If you were half as observant as you claim to be, you would know that that's Doc Doctor Tiffany who is pregnant, but it looked alike. Uh, I didn't see her. I heard from the lobby someone claiming that Dr. Daphne uh, was pregnant. Great medical practice you run where you just uh, act <laughs> on everything you hear. Is that why you're prescribing, what is it, rhinos and crocodile tears? Oh, and is that what why is, what's I next? have a 99% success rate on my cases? You know, if you're going to brag about one more thing, I bet the next thing is your SAT scores, and then you'll tell us your <laughs> MCAT scores. Uh... I do have a 120, you know. <laughs> that's. I think that's a fail. I think you just bragged on my fail. TOEFL. I mean, <laughs> why did you have to take what? a TOEFL exam? Are you not American? <laughs> I moved around a lot. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on my TOEFL I specifically did that to make you read that. That's uh... all. <laughs> Fucking hell. You know, Daisies and Dragons is is a international streaming platform, but we mostly cater to five people that are regularly watching this. That's that's our core audience. That's yes. who we identify with. Um, My entire character was to break Gerard today, okay, and it worked. Amazing. I think everyone. My cheeks hurt. My eyes hurt. You know, I would be surprised uh, with you revealing that you're actually not from this country. But the fact of the matter is that I always knew that. I could tell by the slight way you inflect. Uh, the E's in your in your sentences and the way you pronounce V's as W's. <laughs> <laughs> what He's do you mean? <laughs> and Rani's just frozen with the fuck you sign. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay, what did you say, Doctor Mason? I'm like, like just like again, like just looks at you, like now looking mildly annoyed. Has put his guitar aside and. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Fine, if you're that incapable. Well, I'm quite Those capable. I just there. wanted to test your abilities, see if they were still uh, up to par or if they had gotten rusty in the absence of your partner. Dr. Warner? Is that the name of your partner then? Not anymore, but... You've only been here for a few months. Listen, a lot's happened in the past few months, okay? What you need to understand is I feel like you have capabilities to deal with this case. I just think you're too lazy to do it and you would rather be finishing up on whatever show you're watching right now. Mankind is built on the abilities of the lazy putting the over-enthusiastic to work. Yes, because I look very enthusiastic talking to you, don't I? Let's face it, you are. Let's face it. You need to change this face. And he just like, again, just rose the birthmark passively. Um, well, I'm right here. <laughs> you, I can take over so you don't have to talk to yourself if you want. <laughs> I mean, I'm used to it, but however you want it. Go for it. Go for it. Do whatever you like. Uh, so... Should I be here for this? Say, um, uh, I say to you. Uh, oh, uh, I this. Uh, okay, <laughs> he just sits at the doctor's. Office. I look at. <laughs> I look at Doctor Mason and I go, "Tell me, Doctor Mason, is Doctor Warner the only partner you ever had?" Well, no. And how is that any of your business? He looks genuinely like a little like annoyed at that question. Well, you see. Dr. Mason, I have a theory. A theory that you might be familiar with. Uh-huh. The theory that can be encompassed in two words. Tell me if it rings a bell. Everybody lies. You see his face kind of like twitches for a second. Uh... Who are you? You know who I am. And his eyes just kind of go white for a second, and you see, like, from underneath his wrist, a uh, yo-yo falls out that he was kind of fiddling with, but he isn't anymore. And...
Wait. God, is that you? Ah, took you long enough. And with that, I walk away. You can do <laughs> <That's true. laughs> it. You, you cut, see man. the patient just like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll be here now. <laughs> and like, okay, so we're doing you know, like bridges of space, like, what the fuck just happened? And we can like move. We're drawing a card to see if that went well or poorly. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I'm sure. Yeah, that. If you really, that was uh, a. Yeah. Was that uh, Shum's turn? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it was Shum. Yeah, Shum's turn. Uh, so yeah, the first card was for relationship or patient. Mm. Uh, first card was for relation uh, patient. Okay, uh, that is a six black on mm. the patient. Is what does that mean? That means very bad. Okay, and that for makes sense. Relationship, we did not treat them at I've... all. Yeah, <laughs> but... you they left. were ignored. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So, <laughs> patient and what's it called? It goes badly with the uh, relationship. The relationship reveal something bad happens. Like, yeah. Through... I, I took it bad because I thought he was dead. And I'm yes. like, this person's been an ass to me for the past few months. This is him. <laughs> God. Uh, yeah. How are you feeling about the fact that this excited that he's not as excited to see you as you thought, uh, Gary? Uh, the way how I feel, I uh, I've made my peace with it. This is why I am coping the best way I can after my absence. I'm self medicating. Of course. Of course. So sad. All right. Now we go on to Dr. Natasha Warner. Before we Where start we Dr. You? Natasha Warner's scene, can I just say that these mints are really strong and every time I bite one, my eyes just go wide because of how strong it is. It'll let you cope with what's happening today. <laughs> I've had way too many, but go on. Oh, no. Oh, my so, God. Uh, yeah. Dr. Warner. Right. Sort of uh, Mason's uh, the office. I just and I knock again. I'll uh, again without waiting, push the door open. Yeah. As you were walking in, you would have seen a man with a very ugly face walking out and going down the corridor. <laughs> oh, what is that on the face? Uh, it's my face and he keeps walking <laughs> you should get that checked and, and she that's why I'm into, here uh... <laughs> have you seen have you seen the plastic surgeon <laughs> Dr. Gar Haveli might be able to it's really mean Right. Uh, I have a patient with a hole the size of a fire. Um, and I was wondering if your uh, monkey cells trial had uh, you could take on their will and whatnot, I think. I guess I'm doing for, everything for every for... apartment today. Why the fuck not? What's the case? Oh, okay. I can the difference. And oh, I just and thought you might. Yeah. Oh. It's Doctor Wanda seems a bit dizzy. Seems to be um, bumbling. Words. Yeah, as it were. There's some kind of neuro <laughs> neurological tick where they just skip words. I can everywhere. fix that. <laughs> Is it monkey cells? No. <laughs> you you want to do that? Can you folks hear yes. me? Yes, we can hear you now. Okay. Do you Never can... mind. <laughs> oh, you can't hear me anymore? No, you're back. Oh, you're back. Whenever what you if... say you can't hear me, you come back. <laughs> Camera off. See if that helps. Right. Uh, also, see if you're closing Twitch helps. Oh, I will close Twitch. Bye, chat. Oh, that's uh, not better. So... Mm, the Warner is going to because I don't want to do this bit again. 
after that. Nope. Oh, second the video came. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the video has to go. Cool. Uh, Dr. Warren is just like... You have to someone. I think I think let's uh let's skip, let's skip this. this yeah, yeah, and we'll come back to this once Imnani's internet stabilized. Chirag, take over. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, we cut back. Uh, he's been avoiding Natasha one or whatever uh, Natasha was up to, uh, and he's going to. I mean, I, I do technically. Okay, that's uh, let's follow in on my patient. Uh, so, what's it called? I look into uh, yeah. I'm going like as I'm seeing this uh crying man just like run past, <laughs> which is like birthmark. I think they're going in, and I'm just like looking at it. He's just saying, "You're you're a little out of." Beth, is everything okay? And like I like grab him uh, by his like it it's so okay. no, I mean I, I I came here to get treated and I just keep getting sent between different departments and they all keep yelling at me and calling me ugly. Hey, hey. Fine. Come on, look up. You're you've got a very striking face, alright? Now come. Have a, I know a nice place where you can get momos. Come. Well relax and you can tell me I, what you're looking for. I want for. some momos. Yeah, come. Go on. We got a mo we got a Momo's place uh just nearby. I'm like taking him uh take him out just like to get some Momos and just like so why what are you why did you come here? What doctor are you what doctor are you trying to see? I, I came here for plastic surgery and uh, to get my fingerprints changed and then I was referred to a Dr. Mason who told me to go to the patient's room, but he called me an ugly bastard, so I ran away. Dr. Mason calls everyone an ugly bastard. It's fine. Fine. Uh, let me see your hands. Let me, let me, why do you want your fingerprints changed? What's wrong with your fingerprints? Uh, I, I, I don't use these ones anymore. <laughs> I'm going to draw a card to see if I believe that or not. Because <laughs> he is not the brightest guy. He isn't. <laughs> Not. Is that? That's not. What? I don't want to answer that. That feels feels like a trick question. Uh, so, uh, six of diamonds. Okay, so that means good. That means like uh, I recognize uh, that he's pulling a fast one. And how do I recognize that? Well. Look at his hand. I look at his like fingerprints, and like I, I see, you know, his hand. It's like it's okay. And then I see his uh, marks. You know, what are these called? You know what these are called? The doctor would palm know these, but I don't know what these. Yeah, palm lines. There we go. Lifeline, uh, obviously. That's the, the life. Yeah, yeah, yes, course. of course. <laughs> of course, life, your love life, 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 life. Life. Of course, it's all it's all very valid. And like I see them, and like I notice like his hands. This is completely different. There's like this weird mark on his face. Then I'm just like, oh, oh my God, you didn't get, Doc, uh, Mr. Mr. Johansson, you, you died in the pool. I pulled you out. How are you? What happened to your face? I didn't recognize you with the mark, but oh my God. I was, I was going with that exact thing. What the fuck? <laughs> was it the script? <laughs> That freaked me out. Uh, uh, You're so in sync. Like, he just looks at you like just like he saw a ghost. And he's just like, uh, um, I'm John Flash. Uh, I, I, I don't know who you're talking about. Please, how did you? You have to talk to me. And he's like, he's trying to hold on to the hand, but he's like shaking. Like, what you died? They do. Took you away, and she's like, I've been holding these guilt for ages. What are you? Why are you running? I, I, like, you, you see, like, he stops for a second, and just like, you see his face is like crack, like his emotion cracks, and just because by the time I came to, they had already held my funeral. 
I didn't know where to go, and then all the... My life is in shambles. My my wife is gone. She's moved on. Tax collectors came in. The loan sharks came in. Everything's gone to shit. I'm trying to get her out of it. I'm trying to go to Mexico. <laughs> gonna be okay. He like puts his arm around him. It's like <laughs> gonna be okay. Like I'm hugging him. It's gonna be okay. And I'm like thinking, oh man, that explains the birthmark. Cause his funeral was a cremation. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> It all adds up. Uh, it's a death mark. Ooh. Yeah. Yay. New life, new birthmark. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't know. I think I think that's how we're gonna end the scene with him like hugging. It's gonna be yeah. Fun. One heartfelt moment in all of us at least. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh I think uh Indrani's back. So we I have think a, so. A I Yay. feel like the He's moment we, we shifted back to me, this will go this will go away. But what was the last thing? I uh, came in to meet Dr. Yes. Mason. And I told Dr. Mason if he would, if he wants someone for his clinical trial. And he said, uh, Which trial are you talking about? The one with the regenerative monkey cells. Obviously, there's a hole in the lady's heart. She's very pretty. When you say that, like when you say hole in lady's heart, his eyes light up. A hole, you say? Yes, a hole. It's 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 the size of a five rupee coin. Did I mention that? I have no idea how okay. she's alive. That, that would probably be the hardest. Oh god, I need to sit down. Sorry. Had... Just... Oh yeah. How are you, by the way? Fine. Hungry all the time, but fine. He he like you know, open his jaw and pull out like a Kit Kat and like chuck it at you. Grabs it with one hand, tries to, and is mm. so clumsy that it just falls. And then she's like, tries to lean and to, just he like bent down, <laughs> hand it over, like he picks it up. Hand. Thank you, thank you. And he he just goes, uh, "No, you really. Sh- I think you should be taking time." Oh, I'm a single mother. I need to support this child. Okay, <laughs> I need you to see, keep. He working. like stops and he's like, "You don't have to be a single mother." Look, this is not the time or the place to talk about this. Let's focus on the five rupee hole in that lady's heart. Yes, yeah, so uh, about that. Uh, that's probably the most strain these monkeys will have to go through, these monkey cells. Exactly. I figured it would be I, a stress test for your I can't guarantee how well it works out. It's still in testing, but if it does work, that would be fantastic for both the patient and well for the research. Can save millions of lives with this. Well, if we can make it affordable, and we all know how how much mm. things cost down mm-hmm. in this great country of ours. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Well, great. Uh, well, whenever you're doing your rounds, she's in the uh, in in the emergency room. So um, you know, just let me know, and we'll sync up. All right. It, this is just a purely professional thing, obviously, and she like slowly gets up eating her uh, Kit Kat. Um, and don't uh, misconstrue it for anything more than that. Why did uh, the Dr. Haveli look so upset at you when he was storming out? What was that about? I was about to get to that. Okay. So, I don't know how to tell you this. Oh, us. I... I was in a different country for some time, and I met a Right, man, you moved around a lot. Yeah, by the name of Dr. Karl Haveli. And we were together for some time. Oh! Until on one of my expeditions, I brought him along, and we got separated on the safari. And I... But he fell off a cliff and got mauled by a pack of bears, but Jeez. Uh... he's back. He changed his face, his voice, everything, but he's back, and I don't know what to do about that. But he's been dead for years. And he only just decided to tell you? Yeah, that's kind of why I got upset. Well, that sounds... Um, rough. I'm sorry. Uh, 
do, do, do you want advice? Is that appropriate here? I don't know what the dynamic is now. I, I wish I knew the dynamic, but I mean, if you have any, I don't know what to think of this. Well, remember that time we were in couples therapy like three years ago? Um, obviously, it didn't uh, work for us, but uh, perhaps we could use the advice that we got. Um, uh, an open line of communication, you know, um, talk to him, or just, you know, I don't know, get a meal, uh, and go to a nice place, and I mean, have a conversation. That's the difficult part, isn't it? For the past few months, all he's done is be an asshole. And plus, Maybe. he's constantly popping those spells. I mean, I, I thought he was off. <laughs> I thought that was mint. It's... It's Wykadin. Oh, the mint flavor. Right, yeah. Mint they did flavor come up Wykadin, with that. yes, yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> down to a history. <laughs> and that was, I mean, he, he got through that in the past. He was over it. But I guess with whatever he went through, he's back on it too. So, I guess being mauled by bears can open up some old wounds. Uh, that's, like I said, rough, buddy. Um. Who, who do you think, like, you know, was there when I started playing my guitar? Like, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot right. to do. Okay. Um, well, he's, if you want my honest opinion, not a very cheery person. And I don't think he's particularly pleasant to be around, in quite honesty. And I mean, well, you I, just. But here we are. I guess I, I need to look inward about that. Point is... <laughs> um, <laughs> what do you mean? Nothing, nothing. Sweetheart. Uh, I, I <laughs> was saying that consider if this is a relationship you want to pursue. And if it is, despite all the red flags and um, all the obvious additional baggage it will bring into your life on top of, you know, and she gestures towards like her big bump. Um, sorry, I shouldn't call my child baggage. That's inappropriate, I think. But uh, I mean, I mean, you know, consider it, go on dinner, get, get sorted out. I think you'll be fine. I mean, sure. Like he looks at you just like, so dinner, when? No, with him, not me. Oh. Oh, well, we could also go to dinner if you want. <laughs> Maybe together, the three of us. That would be nice. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have been craving sushi, but I'm not supposed to have raw fish. So if you have... Yeah, that's probably a bad idea. Yeah, a recommendation. I do, uh, uh, weirdly, uh, I did hear about a very nice Momo place. Goodbye. Oh, Momo place. Do they have like uh, the the specific sauce that they make in 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 uh, in, in in Nepal? The the really spicy yes. one. Oh, the Ladakhi uh, dip thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they have. We that. should go. That sounds like a great idea for a platonic dinner between two friends. Yes. You see, he looks a little like dejected, but he's like, "Can I draw a Wait. card?" Okay. <laughs> If she sees that yeah. on your face and goes, unless, you know, you, we should just, I like clear outlines of things and you, you know this, you know this. Um, Can I draw the card for you, Natasha? Yeah, draw the card. I can't uh, do it myself. It feels like a relationship scene, not like the, not the patient thing. Yeah. The patient thing was kind of sorted in a second. <laughs> this feels like all relationship. Here we go. Have you ready? Okay. Ooh, okay. Red King. So that okay, face card rules. That means means there's a dramatic new development or sudden emergency. My water breaks. <laughs> oh bad. Oh. <laughs> I, I I'm just oh like my God. Oh no, wait. Wait, I, I think Tef is still in. We gotta get you there. And I just start like taking you. It's fine, it's fine. It's gonna take like at least the, it, it's gonna. We I still got... need you ready. Also, I look. I have the patient with the pregnant. hole we in the heart. That out too. What, the, what if she dies? I can't let Adler die. 
I can't have another patient die on my watch after what Manny did you, to me. You deaf, and I'm gonna go deal with. He kind of pauses at you that. You both also know that Doctor Avedi is great with grafting holes onto your heart, so. Oh, interesting. That could work. <laughs> that could work. Uh, yeah. We might have to set our differences aside and work together for once, but, uh, yeah, no, like I, I'm gonna get you, you deaf, and I'm gonna go get Havali, and we're gonna go deal with the patient. Yes. And like he, uh, while he's like taking, he like takes the file from you. Like, I'm sorry about the mess. I, you could clean that up later, right? You're there's just... always a mess in my office. It's fine. Right, right. I hope it didn't get, uh, get on your guitar. I know it's, it's not. No, my guitar was not on the floor. <laughs> Thankfully, the next. Uh, sorry, did you keep going? No, no, we no, no, we we, we, we rush. Thankfully, the next time. scene is the OBG one. Oh. <laughs> We come running in. <laughs> right now, Tiffany gets to set the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time, her twin, uh, her lookalike or whatever, fainted. So, you decide how the scene starts. Does it start with that? Does it start with someone else? Does it start with these two running into your I'm scene? Gonna, I'm going to say want? that Andy's still unconscious. <laughs> and, like, um, <laughs> I just see Natasha, like, waddling, <laughs> fast waddling over into... <laughs> the ER. Yes. Natasha? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I froze at the <laughs> best frame. Someone clip this. Clip this. Screenshot. Screenshot. Clip it. Everything. No, it's gone. Everybody. All right. We have it recorded. We have it recorded. Yeah, we have it recorded. <laughs> Perfect face to freeze on. <laughs> Wonderful. Truly, uh, this was. This made the whole stream wet. Well, I think so. No. Uh, no, uh, we skipped. We did mine, then we kind of went backwards no, no, in here. No, no, it was like, yeah. Ayo, oh, sorry about that. I I decided to open Twitch, and I was like, oh yeah, it's fine now. It wasn't a nope. good idea. Sorry. Um, the last thing I heard was Agent P say something. Oh, like Natasha. like Natasha. Natasha's coming in, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Big Waddle, very calm. Has seen a lot of medical students. Knows how to deal with the pregnancy. Seems chill. Okay. So yeah. we just kind of get her, uh, like, um, I guess get her set up. I, like, make sure that everything is good in terms of vitals and, like, make sure, like, another doctor. I, like, hand Natasha off to another doctor. Um, just check everything. Check on Mason. Dr. Mason, you know, just in case he's not doing okay. He is panicking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I kind of like, just like secretly tell a nurse, like, I don't think Dr. Mason can handle this. In case he faints, just keep a few towels ready. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go back down yes. to my patient. Yeah. Um, we we put Mason in the room where the crocodiles are watching Pixar movies to get their tears to kind of distract oh, them. <laughs> It's just the first uh, 10 minutes of up on up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need. Amazing. Or the ending of Coco. But yeah. Oh. Sure. We oh. alternate. It's just Coco. It's just Coco. It's just Coco. How dare you? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna Tiffany goes back down like to uh where her patient is and kind of like checks in on her. And she is awake. Andy seems to be awake and moving. <laughs> Sorry, I caught you on a bad. <laughs> it's it the really... DiCaprio meme will, with Mason will... pointing at both of them, like, "Huh, this too." Dang. No, you're not here. You're somewhere. You're on another. Oh, floor. you're talk... right, okay. I'm, you're I'm, I'm you're at a different level, breathing into a paper bag, <laughs> Mason. All right, shut <gasps> up. <gasps> Absolutely. <Yeah. sighs> um, what happened? I, okay, you're still here. Okay, that wasn't a dream. Oh Hi, my, I'm ow, sorry. Ow. Um, uh, again, you just came to have like wh- you came here for for what? Well, it's just to meet my new OBGYN and just get everything kind of like a new plan because I had okay. a plan with my old one, but then mm-hmm. my my husband and I wanted to move. Mm-hmm. So I had to move for his work, so I need a new plan and to kind of right. like get things orderly. I want to get it done early, so when it actually happens, uh, or God forbid, happens early, everything can kind of be sorted out, and then I make someone with my face. 
who also might mean that I'm adopt might mean I'm adopted or or I I'm adopted know. or I'm adopted. We we don't know. It's okay. No, we, we we don't know. We don't know for now, and that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. It's gonna be okay. Um, I'm gonna take a look at your files and get your history into our system, and uh, do some general tests. See if you know you're good to go. Um, and yeah, then like I'll see you again in like, you know, when you see fit. So um, I think I'm gonna draw a card for like sure. what the reports yeah. say. Or like if the reports are okay. We roll. We draw. Uh, three red. Three red. That's, that's uh, good. So it's good. It's positive. Yes. Okay. Yay. Currently on three red, black four. Yes. We get to ten. The scene ends. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Yeah. Everything looks good for um Andy. Uh, our I do notice something though. Our blood types are the same. So, oh, I mean, again, it's, a lot of people, blood types are the same. So Tiffany's just like, oh, this is, this is fine. It's normal. It's normal. It's not anything to read into. It's okay. It's fine. Um, but, but she also, like, kind of, like, texts, like, her mom to be like, we need to talk. Like, a quick, like, we need to talk. Uh, and then comes back to Andy and, like, gives her, like, the news. She's like, you know, everything's okay. You're doing good. We we have your plan in our system and everything else that requires, you know, information from you, we have it in our system. Um, you're not, like, allergic to anything, are you? Uh, just, and she says the same thing you're allergic to. Just say, what? what? Bananas. Just, just bananas. Bananas. I was like, I am also allergic to bananas. Yeah. Oh. That's a, that's a little, that's a little very weird, but, um, is that, can we, can we meet outside of, like, the office? Like, I can, I can hear someone panicking in the next room, screaming, Mason, four, get your head in up. here, I'm going to crush your head. <laughs> there are four floors up. <laughs> But that's yeah, okay. funny. They're very loud. <laughs> you thought she was next door, it's but actually four floors away. She's just, like, accident she's just accidentally oh, on the intercom. <laughs> All right, no accident. The page is <laughs> But yes, can we meet and kind of like discuss? Yeah, I don't this? mind. I, I'm I'm off my shift at um, I think like nine p.m. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Uh... Oh, that should be fine. I'm a bit of a night owl. It, it'll be good. good. Okay, uh, I'll um I'll take your number and uh like Tiff takes her number, uh saves it as Andy Cole question mark. <laughs> Andy Cole potential blood donor question mark. <laughs> <laughs> marrow donor, not even blood marrow donor. Yeah, marrow donor. Marrow donor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and she just there's that awkward moment. She's like she doesn't know if she should hug or handshake or. Just, like, can we, I, I, I kind of like, I, I just like side hug her, just like from this, just like, okay. Okay, bye. Uh, it just kind of goes, uh, and then she's just like, yeah, she just like gets out of there. Went well enough, doesn't see anything wrong with her on the medical reports. Just the relationship's a bit weird. Yes. Uh, but that is what we want. <laughs> that is what we want. Do we want to continue the scene? Would you talk to your parent? Do you want to move on? I'm gonna uh um no, let's move on. We have we bigger on. fish to fry. <laughs> All right then. Big turnover to the biggest of the biggest of the fish. Uh Alexander Mason oh, with no. his uh crocodiles <laughs> touching Coco and up. Oh that's a big one, is where Mason's at at this point. He's like wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> He's watching oh. Crocodile Dundee. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, he looks over uh, through, you know, like the little, like, uh, he co like comes back down a few floors, looks through the window, uh, and like just sees, like, Natasha, like, you know, raging at her pager, basically. <laughs> you see uh, someone, like, walk over and just, like, take away the thing. They're like, not right now. <laughs> You're off duty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, with a bit of a like seeing how like you know it's a bit of an intense situation 
looks at the fire that Natasha gave him with a bit of a like, you know, heavy mood and just like, fine, I will do what I promised that I would do. And he heads over to Dr. Haveli's office. And just like uh doesn't knock her, just like opens it up. Uh uh What do you want? Pause your pause your show for a second. Uh, like, I need your help. I have my legs up and the, the sitcom's playing. I don't pause it. I just continue watching. But I turn the volume down. <laughs> Walks over, turns it off. Just <laughs> Listen. I thought you were dead for a few years. I thought bears killed you. Now... I know you're back on your medicine. So you shouldn't be, but you are. That's not the important thing here. You also know I was involved with Dr. Warner. She is currently preoccupied in. She's preoccupied. And she left me with her patient, reports her, and I recall. You had a pretty decent hand in grafting. With my generative research and your grafting skills, we might be able to save this patient. This patient has a hole in their heart. Hole is the side. Oh, wait. You wait for it. I'm good. Uh, ah. The hole in the heart is like you see, like you know, it pans over just the size of a five rupee coin. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it, this patient can make it, but if it if this patient has any chance, we're gonna have to work together on this one. So what you're saying is that you need my help, and you're begging for it. <laughs> I can go without you. This patient might die. And then the report comes up to the medical board that we had a grafting specialist on duty who refused to help for his own pride. First of all, um, it will, the report better also mentioned that the, the attending was too proud to just accept that they needed help and say as much. Second of all, the attending did ask for help. The prideful plastic surgeon was a little far too up his own ass to see that. Um, second of all, ignoring what you just said, uh, mm -hmm. has had way too many mints and is struggling. <laughs> to Stop <laughs> fucking eating the mints. Yeah, he um. stopped being mint high. <laughs> Like I, I had a, like a snack right now and I couldn't taste it because my tongue's just not <laughs> registering flavor anymore. Um, oh no. Uh, you said uh, has a hole uh, in the heart and then a grafting specialist and something else. And, and then you were doing the first of all, second of all. Yeah, yeah. And I was trying to remember what the second of all was. Um, uh, Meanwhile, in the other room, giving you some time to think, yeah. uh, Adler is like, they're like, Three, two, one, <laughs> and like trying to resuscitate her <laughs> while they're having this very intense showdown in this other room. Um, uh, oh, uh, oh, what's it? What, um, do you have any skin I, skin I can actually graft? Or are you going to suggest, do. I don't know, orangutan butt hair or something? Not quite. Not quite. You want There's to draw a, a card? Let's, there is, let's before draw. that, yeah. okay. there is a breed of chimpanzees <laughs> in the savanna. You'll be using their skin. I remembered what the second of all was. If the patient does land up dead, uh, and you're the one to proclaim it, they should double check because last time you proclaimed someone dead, they turned out to be alive. So I'm not. You see, kind of like I genuinely look sad at that, and he just goes. You know, Sorry, you were talking about a chimpanzees. 
Yeah. Uh, their skin, along with your crafting expertise, might be exactly what we need, paired with the medicinally engineered, the genetically engineered uh, monkey cells that I have been working on. Combine the two, we might be able to save it. Yeah. I'm risking my own research as well on this, on your, on my faith and your skills, Doctor Haveli. Again with the monkey cells. Um, at this point, we can draw a card because I don't know where Doctor Haveli is going to land on this. Yeah. I'll draw a card. Uh, draw one card. What you get? Four, Please be four of diamonds, I believe. Four red. Okay, yeah. that's a positive. Uh, would this be relationship or patient? Oh no, wait, king. I think that's a king. That's even better, red. right? No, I mean same dramatic happens. Oh, yeah. Um, I I know exactly what dramatic thing happens. I don't know if does it have to be good dramatic or bad dramatic. It does not specify. All right. Me either. I like. Uh, I say again with the monkey cells, and I try to walk away angrily, but I stumble because I have um, an injury from all the bear wounds that I have sustained. Um, he'll catch you, he'll try to catch you. And so. yeah, I fall right into your arms, and in that moment, uh, we recreate how we actually initially met, uh, which was, uh, I, you know, we were in the ER rushing in opposite directions, and I slipped, and again, you caught me, and the patient by, went sliding into the wall, but I was saved. Uh, Priorities! <laughs> And so, uh, and in that moment, we reconnect, uh, and I'm like, I suppose I can pick up the tools one lot more time for you. This house needs a mason to patch it up. Uh, <laughs> when you say that, Mason moves in for a kiss. Oh, uh, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he will definitely reciprocate. Jeez. <laughs> That's so sweet. And with that, they work all their way together to the patient to fix her up. All right. Sweet. So with next up, we have that was Alexander Mason. Uh, next to go to GH. Uh yes. It should be Dr. Gahavelli. I, I mean technically, so, yeah. What's yeah, what scene would you like to have? Would you like to have a relationship scene or a scene with the patient? Uh, with the patient, because I've already had my relationship scene, I think. Yeah. So uh, on the way, while we are uh, prepping, I will be like, oh, you know what, I forgot to deal with that uh, face guy. Let me just sort that out. Uh, <laughs> He's with Manny. <laughs> uh, I just check in on him. <laughs> it's, yeah. How is he just doing? Mouth full of momos, just... <laughs> Yeah, like, do you just come out and you see us, or are you like calling, like, "Hey, I'll, I'll this just, guy? I'll do like a quick detour and check in. In fact, as I'm walking, yeah, yeah uh, uh, I'll do a detour and I'll, I'll check in. Go on. Uh, uh, like I'm, I'm hugging and I'm patting, uh, yeah, patting you down, uh, patting down yeah. our, yeah, uh, love, we'll, our striking we'll fellow, our, our revenant, uh, and he's and so like, okay, so. I understand the things are rough, but just like running away, hiding in Mexico, doesn't doesn't your wife deserve to know that you're alive? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> what was on? <laughs> what did she do? I mean, I was gone for five days, and she sold the house, remarried, moved, reset her life. Wow, All the loan she took, she put under my name, so now I'm like, I can't go back to living. Um, also, for the you... record, I could swim. He did something to that pool. <laughs> that pool was a bit too chlorine heavy. I, I, ah. I, I was, I, I mean, I came to you. I was an ex athlete. I know how to swim. That's why I thought you were fine. I don't know why your heart gave out. Okay. Uh, we got to talk to somebody, but who do we know? Uh, let's let me have a word with your physio, with your plastic surgeon. We'll try and get this sorted out. And hopefully he's reasonable. Uh, so there's us dragging you, like me bringing you to find you either while you're out there or to your office. Like, 
Hi, sorry to interrupt your episode of Bridgerton. Can we come in? <laughs> I don't know what you were watching. I don't know if you said what show you were sure. watching. What is it? Bridgerton. Uh, it's a good show, apparently. Uh, so, a patient of yours that you really should uh, look after, and I think uh, Mr. Johansson, or how whatever you called him by, I don't even think you learned, your character learned his name. Uh, yeah. I, I know, I know that the first you. name's John, that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, I look at, I look, uh, John up and down. You know, if you had spoken to me an hour ago, I would have told you that you're ugly and you really shouldn't bother trying to change, uh, change it because there's no hope. Um, uh, now, an hour later, I realized that it's not what's on the outside that matters, but what's on the inside. Um, and I have a feeling that what you're trying to do here is just run away from whatever made your wife hate you so much. I think, I think you should. You wanted to... my money. You, you still have money to pay for a plastic surgery, though, right? Uh, um, uh, I can, I can make it happen. So that's the question I suppose you need to answer. Do you want a plastic surgery or do you want to deal with whatever is wrong between you and your wife? Because I learned the hard way that waiting four to five months and assuming a bunch of things about why your partner did what they did isn't the way to go about things. Uh, could we card? Yeah, let's card. All right. Uh, can you draw or do you want me to draw? Shabu? You draw because I, I rolled to yeah. this glitching for me. Yeah, we go. Black nine. Ooh. What does that mean? This goes very badly. Ooh. Uh, let me hold on. Let me just double check something. You are. Your patient is currently. Oh, okay. So you have gone from black six to black 15. Once you hit. So total of 16. Once you hit that, mm. that plot line ends badly. I see. And you decide how negatively this plotline ends. So I decide? You decide. I see. I say this, but, and John, back me up here. You can, you can help me flavor it a little bit. Uh, but I think in, in Haveli's uh, gungo nature, he's missed something very obvious that he should have noticed about John. And that is at the key of why his advice is not going to land and John's going to do something in the other direction and rather extreme. Uh, John has been carrying a gun this entire time. <gasps> and what happens? Uh, the advice lands horribly. Yeah. You know what? I will get that plastic surgeon. I'm going to go get some money for it. Just uh, I'll be back in a few hours. All right. I suppose it's your choice at the end of the day. And John heads home. Oh boy, okay. Oh my god, John! <laughs> okay, it's gonna be we'll very dark when we get part. to that. Yeah. We'll do the epilogue oh, of that. Yeah, we'll do the epilogue on that one. We're obviously not. It'll be fine. Uh, great. Anything else you want to do for your scene, or do we want to. I move look on? at Dr. Manny. Like, did you catch a surname by any chance? Huh? Uh, Johansson. Was uh, it? He's missed. Uh, yeah, he's Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Sam Johansson. He was, it's actually not John, that was a cover name. And that's actually not a burnt mark. That, that's a burn mark. Uh, and he was the patient that I thought I killed back in the pool. Okay, this is a bit too much for me. I have I a thought. heart to fix. I'm going to go do that. Okay. I guess George I can find someone else to tell the story to. <laughs> As you're saying that, I'm like, you know what? Not interested. I'm on thing. And pop a like. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, I'll go back to pictures and I'm like, oh, I'm going to go cure the heart. Yeah. All right. Next up. Uh, next, we have knocked in Natasha Warner. Ah! Ah! I'm pushing. <laughs> but which, which scene do you want? Do you no, want to do a scene I'm... involving your patient or a scene involving your relationship? Involving my patient. Um, let's just say that uh, I am very efficient at birthing and I have births. <laughs> A full Hollywood Let's burn. Sure. 
I am yeah. very efficient. She I... maxed out her birthing skill. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so I, I have expertise, guys. Uh, uh, it's, it's very like toxic, like you know, uh, uh, work culture. Where it's like, yeah, 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 I just gave work, whatever. I'm back at work. Um, and yes. by that I mean it's been like maybe an hour. Um, and uh, I, <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I just see courts on the leave Discord. in this hospital. God no. <laughs> um. No, they offer it to me, and I'm like, of course not. I don't need maternal leave. I'll just bring my kid to work every day. It's fine. Um, and uh, while the kid is in the NICU, because uh, apparently all the stress that I've been carrying has somehow, you know, my my baby's going through it and is chilling in the NICU. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I trust the pediatricians. We have lunch together every day. So I leave them there <laughs> and uh, I will make my way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, look to the doctor and be like, do I need to touch her once to um, establish a motherly collection Imprint. or are you good? <laughs> we can't force you. All right, give me a glove quick and I'll put a glove <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> slip my hand through the little baby hole and like just so, are you just like give it a knuckle yeah down the, the and, thing like, that they keep the, the baby babies in the NICU <laughs> you know, that is not yeah. the baby hole I was thinking I was like I lost context on this scene you said baby, baby hole and I'm like what what is going on Mr. Page I apologize <laughs> yeah the NICU pretty sure knows what I'm talking about uh, and uh, I, I pat the baby's soft little forehead and I'm like there there you'll be okay you're in good hands. <laughs> I love you, child. Um, <laughs> take my glove off, and I'm like, you, I have a patient. You want to do. name? You want to name them? We'll give it the gen. We'll figure out the gender. It's like none of my business. Could I you put to TBA do. down, and I'll get back to you in a minute. <laughs> you put TBA um, for gender and name, and I'll keep um, going. Isn't it thank T- you. TBD or TB? TB? Oh yeah, no, it's okay. TBA. TBA. Yes. Or the real name TBA. Um. Uh, my my the potential father will throw a fit if uh, they are not consulted. So anyway, um, like sweating, like just like you know, putting her hair up in a bun uh, makes her way down to uh, Adler, uh, and I assume that they are able to stabilize Miss Adler long enough for me to. <laughs> Check it out. She'll be in the OR right now. Yeah, we are operating house. Mason and Haveli are working to build. Yeah, whatever, man. I'll 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 wash my hands and put like OR scrubs <laughs> yeah. on. Just immediately post birth, just like oh let's fucking get it. <laughs> Have you seen that scene from uh House of the Dragon where yes. uh where yes. she just fucking like Walk. walks? Yeah, that's the that's the visual. Ah uh, yes. Uh, Great walks visual. <laughs> It walks in and goes, ah, sorry, I was a bit preoccupied. Uh, Haveli looks at uh, the blood trail that's following you. He's like, the, the... you're bleeding. Why are you here? <laughs> Somebody give me a tissue. Or not a surgeon. I'm a cardiologist. That's not a yeah. surgeon. <laughs> in terms of TV land, it's close enough. <laughs> it's close enough. <laughs> I do heart surgery, right? That's why I'm a cardiologist. No. <laughs> yeah, wait, what is a cardiologist? Cardio. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. You're a cardiologist you filling in for cardiology <laughs> while you were pregnant and now you're in, in the surgery room for a heart surgery. Notice how there's a surgeon in my <laughs> name. <laughs> Uh, a cardiac surgeon, if you will. Um... <laughs> you know what? By the end of this, you you'll be a cardiac arrest. <laughs> we will all need resuscitation. <laughs> yes, we will all That's need it's a court of law after the resuscitate. <gasps> I am sweating. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I I walk in. I'm like, this is my patient. I need to know what's happening with her. Um. I, I look over and I say, is that orangutan fur? What is it? <laughs> it's chimpanzee. chimpanzee. Right. Well, okay. you have this handled then? This is sort like yes, you have go, this. Go to the viewing booth. Yeah, of course, of course. Oh, by the way, it's a girl 
uh, and uh, I put the name down as TBA just so you and I could. That's a horrible name. (laughs) It's a placeholder. (laughs) Um, I can do that. Whatever, man. She's going to be fine, right? We will draw a card and find out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God. Can you draw? Do you want me to draw? Mm -hmm. Please draw. Here we go. Three black. Where are you? Oh, no. Oh, no. That means we go three black. This goes badly, and you've added up to ten. But majority is red. You have seven red, three black, which means this is something negative happens here, but the end result of this will be positive. This patient experience. Baby sneezes. This patient storyline. Um, well... Even though the, even though um, Adler, Miss Adler, with the five rupee coin sized hole in her heart, does not survive this very intensive um, surgery, um, two things happen. Uh, Mason and his former flame, Dr. Kar Haveli, are able to bond together. They work in such synergy. It, it's it's honestly like, well, they fail at the end of the day, but that's, you know, journey to... before destination. Uh, and, 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 you know, they're, ha- they, they're able to bond in that moment, which is very nice for them, I think. Um, and the other thing that happens is that... Um, uh, Apparently, uh, Miss Adler uh, donated her body to science, and we're able to figure out how to actually handle five rupee coin-sized holes in people's hearts. And, uh, and so was it monkey brains? It, it was, was unfortunately not monkey no. brains. <laughs> um, <laughs> and <No. laughs> you're um, the academy training wizard. <laughs> I'd be like, what training? This I... academy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what was even the point of the last season? <laughs> <laughs> um, but the sets of the next season. Uh, and so, gun and badge. Uh, Dr. Haveli goes, Adler will always be the one that got away. Oh my god. Um, hey, but you were... I, uh, because I spearhead the uh, the the what's the research or whatever, right? The postmortem for Miss Adler, I get one of those fancy doctor awards. Agent P, hit me. What's a good doctor award to get for this kind of stuff? John Hopkins. <laughs> right, that, sure. I get a John Hopkins... Recognition award. Recognition award for the work I have done with Fire P. Hartholt. Um On the other hand, uh, TBA is now one year old. <laughs> uh, we love oh, her very much. Nice. <laughs> Does the um, A in TBA stand for Adler? Uh, yes, it is in fact dedicated to Adler. We decided <laughs> never to change her name. It, it, it's um, a long name moment. Uh, We're named after three patients like him. <laughs> <laughs> um, Teresa Bartholomew um, Adler, of course. <laughs> yes. Um, and despite my initial uh, uh, complete lack of uh, empathy towards my own progeny, I managed to find a semblance of, uh, you know, motherhood instincts and and learn to care for this child with or without dr mason remains oh, to be seen you'll... yeah yeah sure yeah they do that <laughs> while you get it going um <laughs> but in in the meanwhile i will just say this there is all while all of this was happening there was one patient sitting in the er um uh just like this this big hood on this like dark purple hood um and and she's sitting there like clutching this like gun wound in her stomach and it's like yeah any moment now because uh, <laughs> i remembered that this potential criminal uh, patient of dr manny was literally never addressed <laughs> no we did i combined the two patients oh With, i see because you had see. done a criminal one yeah, my criminal had gone off. Love yeah, that's it. How I oh, okay. It. Well, there is another patient, okay? Because I said so. No, uh, the gunshot wound. Is... <laughs> I can figure out the gunshot wound. I have an idea. Fine. Uh, well, yeah, uh, that's... Okay, so, so patient yeah, died yeah, of gunshot. My turn. 
Yeah, so my turn. I have... Okay. Do I think I could finish off... I think I have to address the... I think I have to address the patient uh, because it's like kind of a thing. Uh, so yeah, he has gone off to go... I saw him go off with the uh, gun and like I think I got like a hint that I think something's wrong. I go to the records to find like his his house, go to it, and then I kind of like go off to kind of like catch him at his house. Like I'm going there, full uh, in my car, uh, uh, just driving off there, uh, getting off, uh, ignoring like the calls, which maybe there would be calls of like, hey, the kid who might potentially be yours because we never identified the parentage has just been born. Uh, so that's like a thing. Uh, uh, but he's like ignoring that as he's like going to the house. He sees like the doors kind of been like kicked open and he can like see uh, Mr. Johansson, uh, the former athlete uh, turned uh, revenant, uh, aiming a gun at uh, his wife, uh, his ex-wife, uh, his widow. Uh, at, and this and random her, dude who's also there and has one gunshot wound already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he heard the gunshot. That's why he's in. Like, yeah. Oh. Mr. Johan, Mr. Johan, please. This isn't right. Okay? Just just put the gun down. How will I pay for my surgery then? <laughs> there are there are ways. And whatever way, it can't be worse than what exactly you're doing right now. Like this, this is wrong. You know, this is wrong. There are legal avenues you could pursue. Like she, you said that she tried to kill you. She tried to kill you in the water so you could like sue her for that thing. You could have a way out. You don't need to run away to Mexico. Okay. I apologize that about the gunshot. I can out. help you with that soldier. This the way out. This isn't the right way. Please. Relax. Let me help you. Take deep breaths into your your navel, out to your nose. It's gonna be okay. Uh, shall I draw a card? See how this goes. Then, chat. Uh, you know, pray for me. Here we go. <laughs> Don't draw black. There shouldn't Joker. be any jokers in this deck. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. What does happen if you draw a joker? Is there rules to that? Why we draw? Here we go. That's all the joker arrives and kills us. No. Uh, yeah, there should not be any jokers in here. So, all right, here we go. Uh, another joker. Oh, hey. Good lord. Okay. Turns out it's red the nine. calling card. Yes. Was that oh, you're something of a joke? Or red nine. Red nine. Red nine. So that means uh, this situation so, ends with uh, red fifteen. So this is yeah goes well. He These, drops his gun. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Like I grab him. I'm like, it's gonna be. I'm like patting him down. He takes it. I like take the gun and I put it away. Uh, like this, you know, put the safety on, do all that kind of stuff. Make sure it's thing. Like, can I have some more momos? <laughs> oh, uh, he's like, of course, man. Uh, he's like, you never finished yours. I like he's got such momos. It's. There, the police do arrive. He did yeah. shoot somebody. He did shoot and he's like someone. Saying, he did shoot someone. And he can't be helped. And he's like, he's like, he's going to try and like help him out. And you see, he's like in the court explaining what's happened, like getting toxicology reports, like all this kind of thing. That's all the things that happened, all these kind of things to try and help the situation. And it is, you know, he still has to serve some time for shooting somebody and breaking and entering. That's like a thing. But also, his wife does have some uh, something that was just proven that she did try and kill and then cremate, cremate him uh, while he was alive. So like a lot of bad things. So they're just generally, she was not a great person. Uh, so that's happened. Uh, so that's happening. He's like coming out and then he's like goes over uh, to check up on uh, yeah, he goes to check up on Natasha as he's like, hey, uh, I presume they forced you to go home at some point. Maybe yeah. after the award, uh, and just like just force you to like, please stop coming. You wait. I got the award on the same day. Exciting! Thank you. It was so fast. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he's just like, so, um, I'm sorry. I was avoiding you. Uh, oh my god. I know. Uh, 
Yes, it turns out, um, I'm sorry I never spoke to you about when we thought the patient had died. I should have been up front and spoke to you about that. And I feel really, that was cowardly of me. Turns out our patient's not dead though. No, uh, he was just evolved in, you know, some B and E, uh, and he had a he had a burn mark in his face that he passed off as a birthmark. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, he's he's gonna serve some time, but he's alive. Oh, well, which patient was this? Just jog my memory again. Uh, you know, uh, we had a patient. He was at a heart problem. He was. Oh. Like, you said has. We checked his yes. cardiology. Yes. And I said he could go swimming because he was an athlete. And you said, right. maybe give it a day. Right, right, then right. And he right, died, right. but turns out it's because he was poisoned. I remember. Okay. Well, uh, uh, glad he's okay. I don't really remember remember him, but I'll take your word for it. Uh, of course. You know, we go through Tommy so many Brain every day. I, yeah, sure, just, um, <laughs> that too. Yes. I was like, well, oh, because of the fancy. Like, no, because I just see a lot of death in my time. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> Not a great hospital. Oh, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, she forgives you very easily. Uh, it's almost as if she'd forgotten over time that this was a thing that had happened. And maybe it's a lesson in like, you know, having conversations and not thinking the other person is mad at you, just talking to them. Maybe they're like, yeah, whatever, dude. Uh, but yeah, she's totally chill about it. Oh, yeah. And he like goes, like, oh, this baby's so cute. What? Uh... TPA is so cute. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I, I, I made it. <laughs> of course. Thanks, I made it myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She doesn't uh, do much yet, but she is very cute to look at. It's true. <laughs> doesn't do much yet. <laughs> very demanding. That's fair. Sure. Do um, you, uh, so have you confirmed that it's oh. Mason's I, I realized I didn't really want to find out, and uh, Mason's doing his own thing, you know, um, and and uh, it's just better this way. Homes together. You We're building homes. Okay, in... sure. Do you do you want me to work on a be involved in, or help in some way? I'm happy to I think help I, out. If you... Maybe if you'd like to, I'm sure. <laughs> I think we're fine, honestly. I can't <laughs> <cover it. laughs> We're good. <laughs> Sure. TV and okay. I, a little buddy of mine, and I just <laughs> touch her nose. Nice. Oh, wait. Uh, and you're, like, go. Hmm? you're welcome to visit her, of course, if you want. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got you something because now you're not pregnant anymore. You can have it. And he passed you some sushi. That's very oh. sweet. How did you even. Oh, Annie, and gives you a hug. Um, puts More affection for the sushi than the baby. <laughs> I had that's a baby. Yeah, I had yeah. sushi. Yes, uh, <laughs> that's what we. Maybe that's I, I think we end the real shit. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, that we should yeah, end. Uh, yeah, because Shivam and I have a I have a work meeting. How exciting! Um, uh, how exciting! <laughs> dang it! But don't uh, want to be unceremonious going... about it. So we just do we, we have just any... had agent. We just had agent fees. Epilogue. Oh yes. yes. Oh my epilogue. Oh my god. Yes. How are you dealing with your win? Um, I guess it's 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 we see in the next season we haven't met. Oh boy. Ooh. We're gonna meet gonna and happen? maybe I'll talk to my parents. We'll see. What's going to happen next time? Who knows? We'll find Join out. Join us more. next time thank you. on Heartbeats. Dragon Ball. Heartbeats. No, Season well, 47. Heartbeats re-resuscitated. Re yes. Next time, Heartbeats. Season 48. Malpractice. Everywhere. <laughs> that sounds accurate. That was this this one, wasn't it? <laughs> Turn, turns really? out medical law is very forgiving. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us this long. Uh, thank you uh, for watching. Thank you again to uh, thank you to our players who were able to rejoin us. Pan as our man Mason, you were amazing. Agent P, we're so sorry for the mental scars we brought on you with our knowledge of medical terminology. You know, revolutions in, oh. in medical science. I knew that. Today. I, know, I personally think we gave you great areas to research as you yeah. go in life. <laughs> Should really consider something. You know, it's unorthodox. Like guys, alchemy. Look it up. Yeah, have you considered that instead of... I feel of... like if I hear monkey cells, IRL, I will have a breakdown. <laughs>
Okay. I uh, am glad I left that effect. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, next week, we are playing... Uh, Shubham is running a game, I believe. Yes. Next week, you want to talk about it? Yes, we are going to be running one way either kids on bikes or kids on brooms but kids are going to be on something getting up to some mischief so yeah. uh we look tune in for that we have an exciting uh cast to introduce you to uh and a lot of shenanigans to get up to so i am looking forward to that bye, bye everybody take care